We love them. We're so glad to have them back. Please welcome Zorba Hughes.
went to get a pack of cigarettes, never returned. And that's fucked up, but it kept me from smoking. Crazy, fun, crazy hicks. That's what I was raised around. Hillbillies right next to me. That's what I want to name my autobiography. <laughs> Hillbillies right next to me. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. Y'all see my high school ring? I ain't going to be like I'm on QVC. You see it? Um, um, this guy thought it was a sports ring because I look like an out of shape running back. And he came up to me. You know how the kids today posture, right? They think they hard and thuggish and all that. He came up with his pants saying and the attitude. He was so you know, you play basketball? I said, no. You play football? No. And what you used to bring for? I graduated, bitch. <laughs> Obviously, you didn't. <laughs> I was at the Lawrence Park a couple days ago, nine my business, reading a book. Homeless man comes and sits down across from me nonchalantly and pulls out a crack pipe. He goes, you mind if I smoke? I said, ain't that a bitch, a gentleman crackhead. <laughs> Only in San Francisco. Anybody ever been to Hyde Turk? In that area? Yeah. Yeah, I would see the, the, what I like to refer to as the homeless flea market. The homeless people are always trying to sell you some stuff over there. I had a homeless guy try to sell me one shoe. <laughs> one of them do with one shoe. He said, take it one step at a time. What the fuck? Do not get it, man. I love San Francisco. I've been here three years. I learned one thing. Y'all are not afraid of anything sexually. Nothing can freak you out. You can say, I fuck horses, right? Y'all can say, I fuck horses. They'll be like, was it a Palomino? Because I fucks with Clydesdales myself. My sister's in the Torix, you know. That proves I'm from Kentucky. How many black men know that many damn horses? Not many. I want you to fall, you might be. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? You got to piss serious, you don't even want to respond. I have to go, motherfucker. Oh, my goodness. So, quick question. Anybody here besides me remember when the tea party used to be known as the KKK? No. <laughs> I'm against abortion, except in the case of rape, incest, and the birth of Republicans. Anyone else? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you have a response. You're going to help me get out of here with that joke. <laughs> now, anti abortionists always like to say that the fetus has a soul and killing anything with a soul is immoral. I say, okay, well, based on that logic, Michael Boat should stop singing Motown songs. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I hate it funny in this world. I saw this in the paper recently. They found the original bus that Rosa Parks was on, and they're going to put it in a museum in Detroit where she's from. I think that's beautiful, but here's the question I ask. Are they going to put it in the front of the museum? Oh. Oh. What are you <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just a thought. Just a wonder. Been in relationships now for a while. I just broke up with my girlfriend. Um, yeah, yeah. One guy got me for me. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Now, but uh, I learned one thing in a relationship. It's you and her. It's not you. It's all about compromising that system, all right? It's not you're going to the party, we're going to the party. You're not hanging out with your friends, we're hanging out with your friends. Uh -oh. You're not sleeping with that girl from the bar, we're sleeping with that girl from the bar. <laughs> and that's perfect for me. I like that shit. But I also learned one thing, not to put your foot in your mouth. Not putting your foot in your mouth is, a, listen to me. Don't do that. Whoever you date, don't do it. I made this mistake. One day we were laying down on bed looking at TV. She laid her head on my chest and we were looking at a movie with Selma Hayek in it. And I guess I was looking at Selma a little too lasciviously. Lasciviously. Uh, uh, yeah, that worked. Uh, <laughs> and she goes, she looks up at me and she goes, Oh, you born her, huh? I had to think right quick. I was like, No, 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 sweetheart. You're my day, my night, my hour, my second, my moon, my stars. Everything I need, desire, have to have, the air I breathe, everything I want, and everything I need on this earth, in this world, and this time is here next to me at this moment, right now. And she loved that. She laid her head back on my chest. Well, without thinking, I go, but I'll fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> so much for that. I'll leave you on this. Women, women, please, please, in a relationship, don't ask your mate stupid questions. I gave an example. My ex used to ask me made up questions like, would you do that type of thing? 
She asked me one time, she goes, would you suck a dick for a billion dollars? <laughs> exactly. And I was just like, no. And she goes, oh, you're so homophobic. She goes, I would do it. I'm like, of course you would do it. You blew me for a Klondike bar. That ain't no big deal. <laughs> Thank you, folks.